there are good racing games. There are great racing games. There are racing games. Madagascar Karts isn't even the only Wii game where you can drive a 4x4 as Kowalski the Penguin nowadays. So what is the point of this thing in 2024? Reading about it, I heard the game featured crazy kart action. So naturally, I had to pick up a copy. Whatever the cost. My Wii started overheating as soon as I put the disc in, so I knew I was in for a boundary-pushing gaming experience. I didn't know he liked to move it, move it. Developed by Seared for the Wii, PS3 and Xbox 360, Madagascar Karts was released in 2009 to instant universal acclaim. Hi, I'm Bill Gates. Back in the day when I was playing on my original Xbox in 2001, I noticed a big problem. A distinct lack of Madagascar themed racing games. I rang up DreamWorks and I was like, what's the big deal? They told me, so we don't have any movie called Madagascar. And I'm like, what's the deal with this guy? He literally works at the production company and doesn't even know what Madagascar is. You know, the one with the funny monkeys and the hypochondriac giraffe and the terrorist penguins. And they hung up on me. When I was developing the Xbox 360, I knew something had to change. Realizing he was four years too early to see his dream be turned into the critically acclaimed 2005 film, Bill Gates set about starting production on the kart racer, which until 2018 was the most expensive video game ever produced. I'm Madagascar Karts and I was in the development team for Madagascar Karts. It was back in 05 when I first saw the trailer for the film. As soon as I heard Chris Rock mutter the other words, crack a lackin as a computer generated zebra, I thought, oh, this place is crack a lackin What I'd do to hear that voice line compress into oblivion. Crack a lackin By a different voice actor. Crack a lackin In a game made for a future console that had a funny name that sounded like a bladder function. Madagascar Karts is a pretty standard Wii racing game. You can control your player with two configurations, using the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, or using the patented Madagascar Karts steering wheel. That's right, the original Wii wheel simply wasn't enough for the team at Sid. They had to go further for Madagascar Karts and invent something so green and so made of plastic. It's plastic. It's made of plastic. Now let's talk about the characters. Look, it's not the most exciting roster. But it does say we have a few unlockable. Oh my god, is that Bob? Did we pretend that oh, my name? Oh, I, I'm I'm the Thorpe. Uh, I voice Alex the Lion in the Madagascar Cards video game. Yeah, I get recognized on the street constantly, like every day. No, of course I haven't seen the site. I know it's been years, but I think it's time to give up. Being famous. I mostly played as Marty the Zebra and Melman the Giraffe. Melman once again proves to be a man of the people as his sole power in this game is allergies. Gameplay is surprisingly so fast paced that even at 50cc I was crashing into the bins around Central Park Zoo so violently that it kept flinging me up into the air. Same goes when you run into any character, they will slam you into the side of the track like their lives depended on it. The thing I like most about Madagascar Cards is that it teaches valuable lessons. Like, when you go steer, sometimes the card doesn't go that direction, and that was intentional, because I wanted people to remember that life isn't fair. I got a good laugh out of my character forward rolling off a cliff miserably every time I messed up a combo, which, to be fair, it's very hard to figure out how to even pull off one of those. As well as mangoes, which affect your placement in standings after races, there are power-ups scattered across each course. Sometimes I can't even tell if they're meant to help you, because I got the stampede in one race, and the other five Martys that spawned kept ramming me off the track. Hey, I'm Raisin Sultana, a third generation mango farmer. You know, back in 09 when Madagascar Karts introduced the uh, mango, they had a pretty significant impact on the agricultural industry. I mean, it started as an in-game item. And uh, when my great-grandfather saw it, he thought he couldn't waste another moment introducing it as a real-life yellow summer fruit. And today, it's one of the most popular in Australia. Oh, Grandpappy would be proud. I'm particularly a fan of the power-up that just slams a still JPEG of a smiling spider and dances it around your screen. That smiling spider JPEG simply could not exist without all that computational processing. Gameplay aside, with the developers abandoning support for the now 15-year-old game long ago, reliance on the Madagascar Karts community is now more important than ever. 
Oh, uh, hi there. I'm Brendan Quirty Yuriop, and uh, I'm a computer programmer, but also a big fan of Madagascar cards. I actually joined the community back in the summer of 2012 uh, when my buddy gave me his Wii for the holidays. I picked up the game and was immediately hooked. Uh, I immediately joined the MK Skype server, where I've gone and dumped a copy of the original Wii game playable on an emulated Samsung fridge. <laughs> yep, you've done it again, Brendan. You've done it again. Nowadays, the legacy of Madagascar Cart still weighs on the conscience of video game developers as it did back in 2009. I can't provide any specific examples because when I looked up Impact of Madagascar Carts on Google, my internet provider blocked me from ever using the web again, but trust me, it had a big influence. Truth is, if it weren't for Madagascar Carts, I couldn't have bought this $500 million mansion. I still remember that day in 2009 when I got a call from Bill Gates' office telling me THE Bill Gates, the inventor of Zoom and Bing Maps, had sought me out personally for the ideal voice of Alex the Lion. I'll forever owe it to him for where my career went from that day. I mean, Madagascar. The idea, the concept, it really was a no-brainer. Once it came to me in a dream, and I knew I had to make it a reality. I mean, come on. A mouse lemur with a foot fetish. You can't make this shit up. But I did. Because I'm Bill Gates. Billiam. Frickin' Gates. <laughs>